If you'd like to learn how to make a plaid shirt cake, then stick around because I'm going to show you how we made this blue plaid folded shirt cake for my daughter's 15th birthday. Hi, I'm Amanda Vandergulik from Clever Dough Cakes, and if you love baking cakes, learning yummy new recipes, and fun cake decorating ideas, then make sure you click subscribe and hit that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know the minute my next video comes out. We started by baking two vanilla sponge cakes, one regular and one with blue food coloring in it. Next, we cut off the caramelization so you could see the colors nice and fresh and stack them one on top of the other with mocha icing in between. So my daughter, Sandy, absolutely loves plaid. Plaid shirts, plaid blankets, plaid anything. And she's got about a gazillion plaid shirts of all different colors. But her very favorite color is blue. And so for her 15th birthday, I thought it would be really nice to make her a blue folded plaid shirt cake. We showered the cake with simple syrup to keep it moist while we were decorating it. To make showering on the simple syrup easier, I created my own version of Yolanda Gamp's Sir Squeeze-A-Lot bottle. I'll put a link to the real Sir Squeeze-A-Lot in the description below for you. Next, I cut out a triangle where the collar of the shirt was going to be. I asked my daughter to help me make her birthday cake because I hadn't been able to make her birthday cake the year before when I nearly lost my life because of being in a coma due to pneumonia. And I was still struggling to be able to bake on my own. You can actually check out my coma playlist over here to find out what happened. Xanthi was so excited to make her own plaid birthday shirt cake. So next she put on a thin crumb coat layer of icing. That helps stick the crumbs to the cake so that when you put the final icing layer on, you don't get the crumbs coming out. She made a batch of my homemade marshmallow fondant icing and rolled that out to cover the shirt cake. You can actually grab my free marshmallow fondant recipe in the description below. There's a link for you. After she moved the cake onto the cake tray that we were going to use for the party, she trimmed away the edges of the fondant and tucked them in neatly underneath the shirt to make it look more like a folded shirt cake. And she also rolled out a smaller piece of fondant so that she could make the collar for the shirt cake. After smoothing down the triangle area where the collar was going to be going, I also wanted to draw a line around the edge of the cake and do a little triangle on the very bottom to make it look like the material of the shirt was actually folded in half. Next, it was time to start the really tedious task of creating the plaid pattern on the cake. My daughter, Xanthi, was so very patient. We had already portioned off two shades of blue, although they look a little bit green in this picture, but we set aside a dark blue and a light blue to you. We first drew out the lines on the cake with a knife and then started filling in the pieces with the colored fondant. I just had her use black food coloring in to color in the little black details on both the shirt and the collar. Then I put a little white rectangle in the nape of the neck for the shirt tag. So then I took the plaid patterned fondant piece for the collar and placed it over a mold that I created out of cardboard in the shape of a shirt collar. As you can see, unfortunately, the fondant has started to dry before I moved it. Next up, it was the fun time of putting on the extra little details. You know how when you look at a plaid shirt, you've got a dark color and a light color, but where they cross becomes an in-between color. So we did that by painting on stripes to make the colors kind of match together and adding the birthday number 15 to the tag at the base of the neck. We made some buttons out of some leftover marshmallow fondant that we painted black with food coloring. After the color had dried and hardened and we painted it, it was time to place it on the cake. It looked amazing. We were so excited. It really looked like a folded plaid shirt, but it was a cake. Xanthi was so proud of the hard work that she had done to help me make this folded plaid birthday cake for her 15th birthday. Her brother Quinn was just excited that he got to light the candle. Well, and of course, eat the cake. As did Xanthi, and well, the rest of us. It went pretty fast. And that is how my daughter and I made our blue plaid folded shirt cake <laughs> using our homemade marshmallow fondant. So download the free marshmallow fondant recipe in the description below is where the link is for that. And then I'll head over here to the mocha buttercream icing recipe and see you over there. Or you can also check out my newest video over here 